Hello everyone, this is Jay. So in this video, we're going to install the remaining prerequisite for SCCM installation. Um, most of these uh, prerequisites are, um, the remaining ones are the roles. So if you log on to your SCCM server, in my case it is jh-su1. So I have open server manager, go manage, add roles, and then you add roles to that particular server. And uh, the first one we're going to install is IAS server. And if you go next, so you just pick the, the bits that we required for IAS server. All right, we go next. next so these are the roles that it's going to install so basically out of that i'm gonna install is6 management compatibility as well okay so i don't need the console probably i'll just check the console as well and scripting tools too okay i'm gonna add http redirection as well and uh, probably logging tools too and ODBC logging request monitor okay so rest of it I'm fairly happy with that go next and restart if it requires install so this is gonna take a while so I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so it has um, installed. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to again manage, add roles. Go next, type server. So in this window, we already have everything, whatever we have required. Let's see what we have in management. So we have already installed management compatibility. That's good. So in the features one, I'm going to also install .NET 3.5. HTT activations. No activation. And what else we have here? I think I'm, I'm very happy with that. Okay. And then what we're going to install is bits. So which is that. Go add features. So apart from bits, we also need remote differential compression, okay, which is in the same window. So that would be remote differential compression. Okay, and go next. Restart if required. Yes. Install. All right. So it's going to take a while again. Then I'll be back. Okay, so installation got uh, successful. I'm gonna add also um, WSAS. So you go next in here, probably it's here. Yeah. So Windows Server Update Services. Okay, so you go next features that's fine we don't need extra bit um, go next role service so we're going to use sql server connectivity of course you can't um, uncheck the wid connectivity sql server connectivity go next content it's going to ask us where you want to store the content so probably in our test environment i would like to store it uh, on c drive um, wsus content okay all right here we're gonna um, specify our existing database server which is jh-seo1 and um, so in your case it can be different or if you're using the same name it will be the same or if your instance is on a different uh, server or the name of the instance is different so probably you go 
name of your server backward slash your instance name so in our case we kept the instance name default let's check the connection successfully connected to the server hit next you confirm everything restart if it require and install I'll be back after the installation okay installation succeeded um, we'll close that in server manager you go back here um, post deployment of winsus wsus okay just double check that the post deployment is finished and then from here you in all apps go to windows administrative tools probably you'll find uh, windows server update services here just run that and in here before you begin that's fine hit next yes or no up to you and sync from microsoft up updates yes um you want to use a proxy go next and that's it cancel there you go so that is all you have to do and rest is SCCM that's SCCM's job um, we're gonna close that so this is done thank you very much I'll see you guys in the next video